us, Shepard. Feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. After what I saw down there, I have never been more filled with rage. Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. At your service. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Perhaps we can talk later. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Not right now. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry, but you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. This conversation is over. Looks familiar. I have been studying this ship. It's cruel. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard, passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon? How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. The Ice Canals of Judah IV. The Palisades of the Verom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. I was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. 
The Reaper sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry, I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. The crew seems shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. The entire planet joined in this ritual. I would spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reaper's job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction will. The crew seems to enjoy staring at me. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony. Tip tree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was... mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname she's had it since, uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. It's kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard... I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. 
How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. The bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. How do you get ready for something like this? You cajole and threaten and make tremendous sacrifices until the galaxy realizes it has someone worth following. You think so? There's no doubt in my mind. It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. I love you. 
love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Show me. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. You are a great protector, Sia. But some things are beyond even you. I should have been this way back on Vermeer. But I make the mistake of trusting you. You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. There will be casualties. I just wonder how many. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? It won't be a problem, Commander. Shepard, I am ready. You're taking Edie into Cerberus headquarters? I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Be ready to take us in. Roger that.
Fortress Hell. Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they're on to us. They're not stopping us now. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Intruder alert. All personnel prepare for security lockdown. Repeat. Hostile forces have breached the perimeter. the last Cerberus team in this area. Shit, was that all?
Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. fighting an alley. We've put down a lot of their troops. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. Figured it was dumbass volunteers who didn't know any better. That's... damn. Yes. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. That sounds like more than your basic coma. Looks like. What's that like? You remember anything? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of a coup's. A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. Guess he was right. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You're here to kick his ass now, that's all that matters. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me 
our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Bastard set you up, using your friends to keep you comfortable. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. and disabling the shield pylon. bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel, I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our 
sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles, well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zetabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't a coup, Shepard. I want everyone to come out of this one alive. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. 